Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well today. We're out here in these new Canoe Frontier 12s doing a little public land scouting. And uh, any of you guys that's out doing some scouting from these kayaks, you know that paddling can get old. So eventually what uh, I'm gonna do is put a motor on my kayak, whether it be one of the uh, two and a half horsepower rated motors for this 12 foot or a trolling motor. But to do that, you gotta install the kit that comes for these boats and it's the uh, 7102 kit. Now you have to purchase these and they run about 90 bucks. But what it does is strengthens the rear end of that boat there to where you can put that motor on there and not damage the back of this boat. So let's, let's pop it open here. I've done a little research already. You're gonna need 11 millimeter wrench to do this. But uh, shouldn't be that complicated. Good steel bracket, adds a little bit of weight to it, but that's gonna give you the support you need to take care of the back end of this canoe. Kayak, I'm sorry, new canoe kayak. Like I said, guys, we out doing some scouting today. Got some water in the little boat. Let's get her put in, see how complicated it is. It shouldn't be too bad. Looks like we've got a couple washers. Stainless steel bolt, stainless steel lock nut, which this nut will go in there like that. Push that in. Redneck, but I can figure this stuff out. This little plug here will go in here. Take your washer on the back end. All right, guys, the narrow end's gonna go inside. Just line up the hole there. There we go. Not too complicated. On the back side, like I said, put your washer on. You have a washer on the back side. All these are stainless steel components. Push her through. Put your other washer on. This is made to where you guys, you can take it off. All right, start hand tightening. That's the reason you need the 11 millimeter wrench is because it's just gonna spin on the backside and you just wanna snug this up. So just good and hand tight where it won't come loose because you got a lock nut on the front side there. There you go. Ready to put an outboard motor on there. As we, uh continue the progression with these new canoes here guys we'll uh have some more diys for them we've got a couple things in the works one of them's going to be for the uh, gun holders that go on here because sometimes they sit kind of low so i've kind of modified one to where it kind of gets up a little bit higher to where you can have that big old buck laying up under your gun there and not taking up all the room in front of the boat but uh appreciate you guys for watching this install you can see it's not that complicated and it's going to prolong the life of your new canoe. So I suggest you get one if you're going to be running a motor on it. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Share this if you like it. And hit the like button. And guys, as always, God bless.